Hi guys, today we're gonna to be playing with the new collection from Udensai. I'm sure some of you have already seen a couple of creators post their videos already. I'm planning on probably posting this video on the 17th or the 18th, depending on like how things go. But there are two palettes in this collection and also they come out with some jewelry. I don't know exact prices for this, but I'm wearing three of the pieces today and I think they're absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna show you some close-ups of the jewelry actually before we get into the palettes because I think this is a fun thing for brands to do to kind of expand a little bit, make some new products, but at the same time sort of do something that makes sense with the brand and their aesthetic. And I think that the pieces that they have made definitely make sense with the brand. And I also feel like Especially with the two palettes and the color stories in the palettes, I feel like it's the kind of jewelry that people wearing those palettes would wear. I don't know if that makes sense, but in my head, I feel like that makes sense. So I think they did a really good job of this and I'm excited to have these pieces in my collection because I can see myself wearing them a lot. I think these earrings are so cool and the bracelet as well. I'm not really a bracelet person because the main reason I don't wear bracelets is because I can't for the life of me put them on on myself. But this one has like an adjustable thingy on it, which is so cool because I can actually like fasten this myself and I don't need help. So that's great. But let's uh, let's talk about the palettes. So I'm gonna show you the palettes, I'm gonna show you the close-ups and some swatches. So the first one here is the Stone and Rock palette. I love this color story so much. Oh my God, it's like a grungy green person's dream. Like this palette is amazing. I think they did such a fantastic job with the color story on both of these palettes because they are very user-friendly. Like they make sense in like what's a matte, what's a shimmer, especially the way that I like to do my makeup and the way that I like to pair my mattes and my shimmers. These color stories makes perfect sense to me. So I'm very happy that this is kind of like the route that they went with these because I can see myself using these palettes a lot and I think that this green color story is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, the Jewels and Gem palette, this was the palette that when they first showed it to me and they were like, hey, we're coming out with a new collection. These are the palettes, yada, yada. I was like, yeah, that's pretty, but it's not really my colors. But then having played with it once now and having swatched it and like looking at the color story more closely, honestly, I think that this is so much prettier and so much more... I'm not sure what the right word that I'm looking for is maybe exciting than I at first thought it was going to be because to me it kind of looked just like a kind of a, you know, a standard basic mauve palette with, you know, I, I didn't really think it was all that, but then now having it in my hands and like seeing the different formulas and the different tones in here and imagining looks that I can do and having done a look with it, I'm very impressed. And I think that, again, they did a really good job making a palette that makes sense and is easy to use. So I'm excited to show you some looks with these. I think I'm gonna format this video a little bit differently than I usually do the looks because I've done two looks where I've I've done sort of like a talk through. So I'm gonna show you those before we do a look combining the palette. So this is going to be a three look video. So enjoy the first two looks and let me know how you feel about this format. If this is something that you want me to continue with going forward. So we're gonna start off with the Jewels and Gem palette and I'm gonna take the shade which is called Elation and use that as my transition shade. Not doing anything fancy with this. I'm just putting this into my crease and blending it out. I'm also gonna take the same shade underneath my eye, just connect it to the outer corner and make sure I have a good blend. For a bit more depth in the outer corner, I'm gonna take the shade down in the corner, which is called Sossel. And I'm just using this to deepen up the look. Are you seeing the richness of that shadow? That is so beautiful. Just taking the tiniest amount of this underneath my eye as well, just connecting my lower lash line to my crease. And before I go in with the shimmers, I'm gonna put down a small layer of my NYX glitter primer like I always like to do. And I think I'm gonna use two shimmers. I'm gonna start with this beautiful purple shade. I'm gonna put that in the middle to the outer portion of my lid, just blending it into the outer corner shade. That is so pretty. And then for the front portion, I'm probably very predictable, but I'm gonna take this shade because I love these kind of shades. This is a shade called Rhapsody. And I'm just gonna put that on the rest of my lid. And lastly, I'm gonna take the shade here called Swoon, which looks to be an iridescent multi-chrome. Gonna give that a little spritz of some Fix Plus and just put that on the front portion of my lower lash line. Wow, look at that. That is intense, I was not expecting that, but I, wow, I love that. 
So I just put the finishing touches on with some lashes and some lipstick and this is the final look and I think it turned out so beautiful. I feel like it's glam but it's also kind of colorful and fun at the same time and I love how that sort of iridescent multi-chrome just like shifts so nicely. Oh, I really like this look. So for the stone and rock palette look, I think I want to do something sort of like greeny neutrally, which like, look at this palette, that makes sense. So I'm going to start with this shade as my transition shade. As you can see on this side, I left some room just in the outer corner of my eye because I am going to use another shade there. I'm next going to take this shade, which is more of a brown, but it's of the same depth. This is a shade called Jubilance. And I'm taking that on the outer portion of my crease, blending it into that green shade that we just put down. I'm also going to take the shade underneath my eye. I love that color combination. Those two go so nicely together. For a bit more depth, I'm going to take this very dark brown shade, which is called Elevated. And I'm going to use that in the outer corner of my eye. Connecting this under my eye as well before we go in with the shimmers. And I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I really want to use this multi-chrome. This is the shade called High Spirits. And I'm mostly just going to put this all over my lid, I think. And just to get a little bit of a better blend, I'm actually going to grab this shade, which is more of a like metallic black, sort of. And I'm just going to take that right in between the matte and the multi-chrome just to make sure I get a good blend. For the inner corner, I'm going to grab this shade right here, which is called Gleefulness. I'm going to spray this a little bit. It is sort of a chunky shade. And I'm just going to put that right here. The shade is a little bit chunkier than what I was kind of hoping for. I feel like I have specks on my lid that I'm not really able to smooth out, but I'm just going to go back and forth over this with the other shade that I use as well and finish off with this look and I'll come back and I will show you. And this is the completed look. I put on some lashes, I put some yellow in my waterline, and that's pretty much it. And I love this. I think it is beautiful. Let's see if we can see a shift with the multi-chrome, which I assume that we'll be able to... Oh yeah, that shifts very strongly to a blue. I hope you can see that in the mirror there. That is such a beautiful shade. So now that you have seen the first two looks that I've done, like I said, I want to combine these palettes because I want to just, you know, play with the formulas a little bit more. I don't have time to do more looks. I just have so many palettes that I'm like currently in the middle of reviewing that I wish I had time to do more looks with these because they're absolutely stunning. But three is just what we're going to have to do for this video. So I don't know exactly what I want to do for this look, but I definitely want to dip into both of the palettes and see what I can do sort of coming up with something that they're not meant to do. I don't know. Just kind of like playing with the color stories put together. So I'm just priming with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base, which I did do in the other two looks as well. It's the primer that I always use. I just It just works really well for me and I just have no reason to switch to a different primer because this one is just great. So let me see. I think what I'm going to start with is I'm going to figure out which of the shimmers it is that I want to use and kind of build my look around that. So I really think I want to use this shimmer because it is so pretty. Oh, like look at that shift. That's so cute. And I think I want to pair that with... I'm trying to like not do something that I've already done, but it might be kind of similar because I just love these colors so much. I'm thinking maybe this green here is really pretty and then I can do maybe like a blue from the other palette, maybe something else underneath my eye. I think I'm going to start with this shade as my transition shade and we'll kind of see how that goes. So this is a shade called Exuberance. So I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. I don't really want to do anything fancy with these looks. I don't know. I just feel like I've been in a mood lately where I've just wanted to do like basic eyeshadow looks and that's okay. And it's honestly the best way to test out and review palettes anyway, because I feel like this is how 
most people do their makeup like there's a template of like a transition shade, a deepening shade, and then a lid shade, and that just makes sense. It's easy to do, it's a good way to figure out like how shades, look at how pretty that green is. That is such an interesting kind of, it's bright, but at the same time, it's a little bit toned down. It's a really pretty shade of green. I like the depth of it a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and wing this out a little bit here. I definitely could go in with a lighter shade as a transition shade, but I have already used the sort of chartreuse shade and it's beautiful but i don't want these looks to end up looking similar like i really want to try to make them all look you know maybe not as different as i can but just different at least but yeah let me know how you feel about the kind of talking over the looks the way that i did in this video over me like filming myself while listening to music and doing my makeup and then kind of talking through it in a review part because i like incorporating sort of more short form content into the longer form content. I'm not someone who really, I don't personally consume short form content myself unless it's like something that's just shown to me on Instagram. I'm not even on TikTok because I just, it's just not really for me. I don't know, like maybe I'm just old. I really don't know, but I just, I can't get into it. Sometimes I enjoy when people repost their TikToks on their stories or whatever, but I just don't really care enough to get into it. And also I don't want to end up spending hours on TikTok. <laughs> like I really just don't want to end up in that circle because that could very, very easily happen because I know myself I have a very addictive personality. Once I start to get into something, it just never ends. So I'm just gonna stay away. <laughs> but I really like this color. I think this is so beautiful. I'm gonna deepen it up, I think, with a shade from the other palette. I might, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do underneath my eye yet. I'm kind of just like putting on colors as we go here. I'm gonna take the shade called Intoxication. Yeah, this is a beautiful dark blue shade that I definitely have not used. It's maybe more of a purple actually than it's a blue, but I think it has enough blue in it that is gonna mix nicely with this uh, green shade. So, okay, it's very purple. It's actually more purple than I thought, but I'm not mad at that at all. I think these are going to work nicely together. I just hope that this doesn't get muddy because I expected this to be a little bit more blue, but I think because of how deep it is, it's going to blend nicely into that green. So I'm just going to kind of take my time here and deepen up this look the way that I like it to be. This is just blending so nicely in together. I mean, I love wooden size mattes. You guys know I love them as a brand. I've loved them as a brand ever since the first time I tried them, which was, God, three years ago now? Has it been three years? I'm not even sure, but I mean, I did a collab with them last year and it's just been so fun to see like their progression and how much better they are now from where they first started. And I thought that the brand was great when I first tried them too, but like they've just come such a long way with formulas and color stories and, and theming. And I've enjoyed, you know, seeing other people get collapsed and stuff. And it's just been really, really fun to follow them. And I just can't wait to see what they do in the future too, because I feel like they really stay on top of things and they, they try to improve, they try to get better. They try to come up with new ideas and, just not like stay the same. And I appreciate when brands do that. So I kind of want to do something else underneath my eye, but I don't know what, like maybe even like some browns would look good. Maybe the greens would, I mean, the greens would obviously go with this, but I have used a lot of these shades already, but maybe I'll do some of this shade because this one is really pretty and I think it's going to make it kind of like an earthy look and that's sort of what I'm what I'm going for. So I'm gonna take this shade which is a shade called Sossel. I wonder if that's an actual word. Not me thinking about Scrabble at all times of the day. Sossel. That wouldn't really come up though because there's only one Z in Scrabble so I might not even look that up to see but I'm just gonna go ahead and put that underneath my eye. I'm gonna take some of this on my lid as well and make sure I blend it into the dark blue shade or I should say purple shade. It did turn into more of a, a blue once I mixed it with the green, which is kind of what I wanted anyway. So I'm just gonna sort of take my time and work on the blend with all of these mattes just until I get them to be the way that I want. And then we'll put the shimmers on the lid, which I think they're just going to end up being so pretty. And like I said, I really want the focus to be on this shade. This shade reminds me of a lot of a shade that was in one of their 
older discontinued palettes. I'm wondering if it's the same shade because it's super similar and I loved that shade. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and basically put this all over my lid. That is so pretty. Oh, just I love shades like this. I'm going to take this pretty high up as well. I do want this to be a very shimmer heavy look, but I do like having a good base of mattes down before I go in with the shimmers because I feel like it just really shapes the eye nicely. And especially someone like myself who has very hooded eyes, I do feel like it helps to just have some depth in the outer corner. And also having lighter shimmers in the front portion really helps kind of accentuate the shape that it is that I like in my eye makeup. The shade is picking up and laying down so beautifully. That looks so nice. I wonder if I want to do anything else on the outer portion. Maybe I do. Maybe I want to see if I can find one of the sort of darker satiny shades. I think I'm going to use probably this one. This is the shade called Paradise. I'm going to take a little bit of that. I don't want a lot. I just want this to kind of help merge the shimmer and the matte together. So I'm just going to put some of that right in between here. Like right now, I'm trying to remember what I did for the other two looks and I, I just, I can't. <laughs> it hasn't even been that long since I filmed the last two looks. So sorry if any of them end up looking similar. I tried. <laughs> I'm trying to like look in the pants and be like, which ones have I not dipped into? But then I realized I swatched a palette today and I don't remember anymore. So this is just where we're at. But that is really, really pretty. It's doing exactly what I wanted to do. I love this. I do want to do a shimmer under my eye as well and one in the inner corner. So I'm thinking, because I do have some options here because I have a very dark lower lash line that maybe if I do, I've already used this shade, okay? I'm sorry, but I love it. So I want to use it again. I haven't used this one. You know, it's just not going to go. Like I really just want to take this shade underneath my eye here in the front portion because I know it's going to look absolutely amazing. This is a little bit of a flaky shade, so I would probably recommend using some kind of a sticky base or spraying your brush with it just to make sure that you don't like get any fallout or anything like that. But I'm just gonna put that, oh, look how pretty that is. That's like doing exactly what I wanted to do. I'm just gonna layer that almost like halfway across over the mat that I have here. And this is the look I'll be wearing to the dentist today. So I hope they appreciate it. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be crying too much. Not that I cry because I have to go to the dentist, but sometimes, you know, your eyes will start to run and, you know, shit happens. Yep, this is beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. And now I'm wondering if... I don't really feel like I have an inner corner shade that I can use. I could use this one. This is the one I have on my face. It's my face highlighter today. It's the multi-chrome in this palette, which is called Swoon. Like, can you tell that I'm actually dipping into this palette more than the green one, which is shocking to me because I really thought I would like the green one uh, it's like so much more, but there are individual shades in this one that I really, really enjoy. But I think I'm gonna use, is blue gonna look okay with this? Not really sure if I love that. Maybe I'll just do some of the white, like the white matte. I'm not really, a uh, matte inner corner kind of person but i can do this and then maybe just layer some of a face highlighter over the top so i'm just gonna wow that is so pigmented that is way more pigmented than i was expecting i feel like angelica is gonna love this as an inner corner shade like this is so up her alley Okay, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put on some lashes and something in my waterline and I'll come back and show you the final look. I think it's going to look beautiful. The lashes are on and I'm using the Cyber Angel Lashes from Unicorn Cosmetics. I think these are absolutely stunning and in my waterline I use the number... What are you? Number six from Woodenzai. Love this green so much. It is one of my absolute favorite pencils in my collection. I think the color is just like so unique, but I love this look. I think it turned out so pretty. It's exactly what I wanted. It's colorful and dramatic, but still not like, I mean, I guess it's crazy for some people, but I feel like this is kind of a wearable look. I mean, I'm probably just crazy. <laughs> That's fine too, but I really enjoy these palettes. I really like the color stories. 
I still think that this one is my favorite. I mean, you can tell that this is kind of like the way that things sort of, sort of just went, <laughs> even if I use more shades from the other palette, but I think this is such a pretty, like green and neutral palette. If you're someone who don't like color that much, I think you would love this palette because you can do some really nice, like neutral crease looks with, uh, it doesn't even have to be like super colorful on the lid. You have these sort of muted tones. There's also this taupey shade, which is beautiful if you're into that. And just greens, you know, like greens, I feel like it's one of those colors that are not as intimidating if you're not into color as some other colors can be. And if you're someone who prefers you know, mauve tones and pinks and purples. I think you would love this palette, especially this shade is so beautiful. This shade on my lid as well. I mean, I love these. I think they're stunning. I think they did a really good job with this. I think the packaging is amazing as always with Wooden Sai. And I honestly don't have anything bad to say about these palettes. I personally have not experienced any hard pan in any of these. I know sometimes that can be an issue with some of these shimmers from Wooden Sai, but I don't have any problems with any of my shimmers, uh, not even this shade, which is the Iridescent Multichrome. Sometimes these shades do tend to get hard pan for some people. I haven't personally had that problem with these myself, but this one is totally fine. I was able to use it, like I said, as my face highlighter today. I used it in one of my other looks. I think it's beautiful. And also with the other palette, like I said, there is no hard pan in any of these either. So yeah, I think they're beautiful. I don't have anything bad to say. I think they did a really good job with this collection. I'm so happy that I have it in my hands. Um, I of course have a code with the wooden side. I totally forgot to say that in the beginning of the video because I always do. It's just net and it will save you 10%. It is affiliated just so you know. But yeah, let me know how you feel about the format of this video. Let me know if you want me to do kind of like the look portions like this again in other videos. I can probably do that. I'm, I'm still sort of in the midst of like working through some other palettes. So it's gonna have to be like more in the future. I've been filming those with just like doing my makeup. So you'll probably see that with just chatting over. But yeah, let me know how you feel about this. Uh, thank you so much to Udenzai for sending over this collection. Thank you so much to you guys for watching. Uh, if you wanna see some more Udenzai content, I will put my playlist up on the screen. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.